Well, maybe my highlight of the trip so far was sitting down with Geno Smith, watching the maturity that you saw in him, talking about learning from every situation that he's been in, so he's been ready for this one. So many great rookies on this Seahawks team, including the man behind Smith, Kenneth Walker. First pass is to DK Metcalf. Game of 10, and they're going to move the chains on just one snap of the football. Just a quick three route. That's just a rollout to DK Metcalf. The DB's playing off far enough and look. Just a great start for Seattle right there, first down. Griffin, first month as starter, and the entire offense has improved because of it. Play fake to him, quick throw to DK Metcalf. Metcalf takes it inside Fox territory. It's Mike Edwards slipped down on that play. And they're going to go fast, already on the ball. Great throw by Geno Smith. Pressure great in his throw. face coming from the left-hand side, falling away. Right. Geno screaming to be heard over this unit crowd. Smith looking for Metcalf. There are no flags and incomplete. Jamel Dean on the coverage. Brings up another Seattle punt. Yeah, Jam Jamel Dean didn't go for that. He saw that coming. He kind of sat on that route. And look, look for Seattle soon to come back and try to probably go over his head because that's what I would be talking about with Geno on, on the Buccaneer side of the field. Now, just two snaps in the second half. Another quick throw. Right. And there's DK Metcalf. Metcalf making a physical move. Tells Jamel Dean to get off him. Another first down. <laughs> yeah. I like their tempo right now. They're saying, hey, it's tough to run the football against these guys. We're just going to sling it. Three completions in a row. Here we go. I told Jamel in practice, that that's a big boy you got to cover. He said, yeah, in tackle. Third and nine from the Bucks, 22. Fans in motion. Jamel takes the snap off. He looks for Metcalf. Complete team won that war. They knew they would come back to this sooner or later. We talked about what I would have been saying to Chino with the sideline. It's like a back shoulder. Or left a little too far I inside, thought, yeah, right? Right. You got to keep it on that outside shoulder. I know he wanted a pass interference call, but I'm all for that, even as a quarterback, when there's a bad throw by the. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh. Offense number 14. Oh, boy. Foul against an official. This is a foul. If number 14 has this, another foul in the same category, he will be disqualified. 15 yards, still fourth down. He doesn't look like he contacted the official when I'm watching it. He must, he must have, have just something. said something. Well, I mean, wow. doesn't look like a whole lot's going on here. Yarder. Welcome back to Munich. Here's the moment where Metcalf said one last thing to the official in a point, and now comes the flag. And DK Metcalf and Pete Carroll had a conversation with John Hussey and another official. Play fake to Walker. Gino going to his left. It's Metcalf again. What a great route by Metcalf, though. Right, Metcalf got him going like he, he thought he was going, he was going deep. Got his feet set and came out. Made sure he, he didn't slip. Watch this. Come to a side like great throw. Proud and full throw. First and goal. Smith going to DK. Incomplete. No flag. And even Jamel Damon locked in a battle all day. I love the conversation I had with Jamel Dean. He said he's up for this challenge. This is what it's about. And I'm glad DK didn't go to the ref there. <laughs> I think punch is enough. Everyone else. And Rashad White just went over 100 yards for the first time in his career with that. Is the most decorated quarterback of all time. Tom Brady and the Bucks get their win. And you could add, by the way, Canada that mix. He once started the game for the Patriots against the Bills in Toronto. This is a crowd. Fans are into it.